When the infection starts, you will need to get a bandana and neon colored duct tape. This will identify you as a player of the game. In the beginning, there are 10 original zombies and everyone else starts out as humans. Humans wear their bandanas around their arm and zombies wear theirs around their head or neck. you will get a unique identification number that you will write on an index card and keep it with you at all times. When a zombie tags you, give them your identification code. It should not be a tackle or anything aggressive. It should be more like two hand touch football. <laughs> this is what a proper tag should look like. Humans, you're probably wondering how you're going to defend yourself against zombies. You can use balled up socks and nerf blasters. When a zombie has been hit by a sock ball or a nerf dart, they are stunned for 15 minutes and cannot interact with the game. All buildings on campus are considered safe zones. This means that zombies cannot attack humans and humans cannot stun zombies. Nerf blasters should not be visible inside. Anything with wheels is considered a safe zone. This means that no one can be tagged or stunned while either on a bike, scooter, in a car, or anything else with wheels.